<laughs> happy now that you done brightened up my day? <laughs> you are fly. Thank you. Um, so tell me what happened on this trip. <sighs> Laura, what didn't happen? Okay. Okay, so boom. We planned a nice Miami trip because we had a mansion party to go to. It was a mutual friend birthday. Mm -hmm. I like a so, cute mansion party. Thank you, right? Mm -hmm, right. So, um, we picked the Airbnb out together, but she told me she would handle everything. You know, okay. she would do the reservation and everything. All I got to do is give my part. She's going to hit up the other girls. They're going to give their part. Yeah. Beautiful Airbnb. So gorgeous. Yeah. So um, we ended up getting there a little late. Her fault, not mine. And I was <laughs> sleeping in the car. So I heard the GPS say, you will arrive to your destination in, like, whatever feet. I opened my eyeballs. And let me tell you, we was in the hood. I said, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Maybe I was like, uh-uh. I was like, where we at? And she was like, oh, we're here. I was like, here where? And we pulled up to a motel. Uh-uh. Not that these you told you that we have a nice Airbnb. Airbnb, we picked it out together and yes. everything. And I was like, if we were going to be in a motel, I could stay home. Yeah. OK? Because yes, okay. baby, I don't want to be here. OK. So we got to the room. I opened the door. So I'm opening the door. I looked in. I said, oh, no. It's crust all on the corners. Uh -uh. I went to the restroom. I looked at the tub. It looked like someone just showered, uh -uh. and they didn't clean the uh -uh. tub. No. I looked at the sink. No. The sink is still dripping, and the faucet had, like, crust all over Ugh. it. And then on top of that, y'all, I flushed the toilet. That toilet was singing for five minutes straight. It would not be caught. <laughs> I said, no, 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 no. I was like, because this is where we finna be? Yeah. I sat my bags down, uh -huh. and it was a roach twerking up the wall. <laughs> So um, she got upset, we exchanged words, and I was like, look, first of all, I know you're not arguing with me, you put us in the motel with roaches. Did she take any accountability to say, hey, I'm sorry, that fell through, this was last minute? We didn't know that until we arrived to the motel. She was like, oh, I didn't know that so-and-so didn't book the Airbnb. I said, that was on us. Yeah. You know, all you had to do, we were supposed to send you the money, and it would have been booked. Yeah. You could have had me handle that. Yeah, got it. We were it. at a motel. So got it made it. me feel like we was never going to go to the Airbnb in the, Airbnb in the, first, in the place. first place. Got it. OK. Yeah. Then. How did the rest of the weekend go? So the next morning, we tried to. I tried to talk to her about it. We were like at a brunch or whatever. And I was like, hey, what happened last night was last night. We're in Miami. Let's have fun. Let's put it on the back burner. Yeah. And she was like, you said what you said. And I don't even want to do this. I don't want to talk to oh, you. Oh, wow. OK, cool. Wow. You know, I have nothing Is else to Is she normally stubborn? Yes. Okay. Did you two go home together? No. What no. happened? She got a new ho hotel this time. It was nice. Not gonna lie. But what she did is when we got to the hotel, she was getting ready to leave again. Wasn't talking to any of us. And But she kept both of the key cards. So while she was in the shower showering, she had both of them with her. And she was planning to leave with both key cards. Oh, that's kind of shady. Very shady. Because why, why bring you into the room and say you can stay and then like try to keep you locked out or while you go control. out yeah. exactly yeah, so yeah. before she left she finally just sat it on the table and left it's time for us to check out yes tiny didn't come back me and peaches we packed our stuff and peach was like oh you should pack up tiny stuff i, said, I ain't touching her stuff she's gonna have to figure out how to get her stuff mm -hmm. but peaches she packed it up because i didn't want to touch her stuff we already not you know on talking good and then something happens yeah and now exactly you're in I can so that. um we waited for her outside because a mutual friend came to give us a ride and when she got there, she was like, oh, both of y'all send me $140. Y'all owe me money. I said, what I owe you money for? She was like, for both of the rooms. Y'all owe me $140 each. I said, baby, <laughs> tell, tell me what was, I said, you know what? Tell me what was $140. She was like, oh, the room was done. I don't know what price she was coming up with, but it wasn't making sense. It didn't make sense. Two plus two wasn't equal in four. <laughs> so I was like, OK, whatever. It is what it is. So I told her straight up, I was like, you know what? I'll give you your money. Send me the receipt, yeah. and I'll be more than glad to send you your money. Makes sense to me. So what happened when you got back home? When we got back home, she was calling everyone, friends, family members, telling them, this girl got me messed up. They owe us. They owe me money. They ain't pay me. These, they're broke. And all I said was, send me the receipt, you know, and I'll give you your money. But if you want to call me broke, I'll be that. Mm. Yeah, I kept $140 in my pocket. OK. Like, it so you never sense. got the receipts? Never. Got it. Well, listen, everyone, help me welcome your cousin, Tiny, to the show. You going to sit there and lie like that? You going to sit there and lie like that? You going to sit there and lie like that? But why don't you try to keep it real, though? Why don't you keep it real? Why don't you keep it real? Yes, you did. Please let me know how. But besides that, besides that, how you doing, Karama? I'm Tiny. Nice to meet you, Tiny. OK. OK. You fly, Tiny. So how do you feel about what she said? Cousin, what roaches was on the damn wall? You seen that roach? Oh, it was a little baby one, but <laughs> baby, it don't matter. 
<laughs> listen, you already know how my man is. He messed up with the dates, y'all, and put the wrong date. That you should have to told us that before we got there. And, and I explained that to him when we got first there. I was like, eyeballs, what is, but I didn't find out about the Airbnb until we got there. I called, you heard me call him like, yo, what, what's going on with the place? I agree. The cr did look crazy. I'm so not the kidding. motel was as bad as she it said. Was ba it wasn't at, it was bad. Yeah, they, I they painted a lot. <laughs> lot now. They painted the tub. Like, it was crazy. I said, cousin, we, we weren't about the wrong thing. We got to go. Let's go turn up. Let's go have a vibe. Let's go check in. Let's Child, go do this. This is what I'm worried about. So let me show you how messy my producers are. They tell me we have reviews of the hotel. There's reviews. Let me, let me see the reviews. Let me see okay. this. <laughs> This is the dirtiest hotel I've ever stayed at. The lobby is filthy. The room was filthy. The sheets were gross. The windows again. had pieces of tape in random places. Oh my and I would God. bet they have never been washed. The tub was rusty. The water backed up. I believe and filled it. the tub while I showered. I believe Tell it. it again. That's what you people believe it? You've seen it. Worst Listen. hotel I've ever stayed. Stunk. Ever. It was dirty and just all around horrible. <gasps> No, you see when we go to Miami, thing. where we at? When we Miami, where we at? We in a big, like, big mansion. We All hanging out, we having a great time. So why would I want to be in a motel? No, y'all okay. don't need to clap for her, okay? <laughs> y'all need to clap for her. But let me just tell you this though. All in all, truthness. I did not know how the place looked until we got there. Okay, I understand. Okay, that. I understand he did that. mess up the date. So yeah. Had you, you, so do you think she owes you money? Hell yeah, I paid for everything. I ain't got no money to give you. I don't owe you nothing. Because you got. So you know, know, I'm not so this is the money that you spent. You spent ninety-one dollars. You spent another hundred and sixty-three. You spent one hundred ninety-five. You spent one hundred fifty. So this is all the money you spent for this everything. This is all the money I spent, but it was, it's more than that. It's, she it's booked more two than different. That. It was another set of girls. So I paid for everybody room. It was another set of girls. I paid so. for everybody room. Everything came up to like to. six. 70 something, I think. Between everybody, it was like 130 something, 137. I yeah. even it out no, to madam. 140, right? We talking about Memorial no. Weekend, Miami, Florida. You talking about 140 was a problem for that weekend? Baby it don't girl, add you up. Miami First then. of all, you yeah. booked a whole separate weekend, room, room for them girls. It don't matter. Yeah, we so why we share room? room? So the girl don't get along with peaches. That don't got so what you to want do me to do? So you felt like not only was I trying to support everyone, but I'm also trying to manage emotions I'm and trying to accommodate everybody. I'm trying yeah, to make sure it. everybody was you. good. Your friend I Pe didn't feel like you was not going to give it to so me. So your friend Peaches was on this trip as well. Have y'all spoken with her? I ain't spoken to her ass at all. And I told her when I see her, it's on site. I don't even mess with mm. her like that. Really? I, it, and my cousin and me, we going to always clash. That's my, <gasps> This is my baby cousin no matter what. You know what I'm saying? A little cousin. But uh, baby cousin. Not a baby. Right, so... We're gonna always clap. This is family. We're gonna always feel some type of way. Da, da, da. We're gonna always feel like that. But she kind of made me, Peaches kind of hurt me more than how my, I feel about my cousin. Why do you feel like she hurt you more? Because I was there for her plenty of times. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Just as verse, vice versa, she was there for me too. I get it. it so, matter. well, listen, there is one other person that's involved. I wanna see what Peaches had to say about this. So, everyone, please welcome Peaches seat. to the stage. <laughs> You're lying, cause first off, Girl. you didn't tell me anything about paying any type of money. I said we all and I have it. Them. They knew about it. You never told me I, I paid money. Everybody you was convinced splitting. me. No, you convinced me. And those messages, you were convincing me to I'm come to Miami. That. Cause we've been to Miami several times, and you know I never had fun in Miami with you. So stop lying. Okay. I don't even want to say that. I don't have fun in Miami. Even... I don't even have Miami with fun in Miami with you. You, ways. bro, you wanted. If they showed the message, you wanted me to go to Miami badly. I was being real dry. You moved down. I was being real dry. I didn't yeah. want to go. You no, knew how you to convince me. me. Right. You told me I wouldn't be paying for anything. Time to move to the end and now you're blaming me. Woman. You're blaming, blaming me you. for all this because of y'all. You just said you wanted me to I'm stay out of y'all business, right? Calling my other people. Girl, whatever. You a liar. You were serving yourself by calling my other people. You're a liar. You're a liar. Oh yeah, and I did. You know what? I did. When we were she on had our nothing way to, to Miami. do with the situation. We talking about real struggles. So I, because it sounds like. It sounds like from your perspective, what you said when you came out there is that you tried to stay neutral, but that you got dragged into this argument and I, you didn't want we to. We were, okay, so if you're getting into it with your cousin, and usually, right, um, me and Tiny's always, always going at it. Too. And, Never me. And you know, because oh, so if a, I feel... There's a history of y'all two yes, going back and, and forth. Yes, and if I feel some type of way, I'm going to address it right then and there. But what are these issues from the past? Because that's what I need to know. Okay, so... My son's dad passed away. We went to Miami before that, but I was there in Miami. I was there, yeah, in Miami, and he passed away while I was there, and I was with Tiny. You know what I'm saying? So I had to, you know, go through stuff, and then she's over here like, oh, um, you know, it's okay, Peach, da 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 da. But an hour later, you're like, Peach, um, here's the keys for the rental. Um, you could just drive to Orlando. Cause you so you was like gonna you stay was ready to go. Duh, my baby I, daddy passed away. What I are you talking about? I have other people that was okay, a problem with me. Why and, would I leave and them? And he passed away with my 
my kids. We so I was like, other where are my kids? I understand like, what you're going on. Don't girl, do that face. because you know you're how face. I felt. Bro, you're but face. you know how you're I felt about that situation. Preacher, that's you're messed face. up that you even you're say face. that. And then I left. Right. It was so many other people that was on that trip with us. Why would I leave okay, them? Right. Don't well, do that. In your cousin. mind, in your mind, you're thinking. I need you to show up a different way. Yeah, exactly. So but I you know, didn't I show up at that, all? You know, she did stuff. Okay, but that's a valid question. Did she show up at all for you? That's my I would say, them? honestly, after she um, after she enjoyed her weekend in Miami, she did show up with some stuff for me and the kids, and I think she felt bad. I really genuinely felt, when felt like she felt bad. When we found out that night, when all of us found out that night, we all sat, laid on the bed, I'm hugging you, you crying hour later, on she me. Goes out. An hour later, she goes out. And the other girl, right her cousin, her cousin's like, hug, I'm just staying with, just stay with you, I'm just like, staying with you, and she slept in the same bed with me while she went and enjoy herself. But even after that, Can we have other people with us? I understand the situation. It was not just me and you. So when she gave you the car and said, well, you can drive yourself. Yourself. I say take yeah. my car, drive back, because I understand if you want to leave right now. Uh -huh. When I got that message and I showed her, right? Because uh, our other homeboy said, I said, Peach, this was going. She told me, I was like, damn, that's crazy. And you're crying, you're doing all of this. I'm following you everywhere. I'm going, you, you went downstairs and cried. I'm I'm my friend, come here, you know. I'm just gonna be with you. That's my dog. Like, that kind of hurt me that you mm -hmm. did that. Have you two been close since then? We um, we, that was before the whole Miami situation. I haven't seen her since the Miami situation, right, after okay. the whole text message. Do you think stuff. you owe her money? Nope, I sure don't. She Clancy, told me I, I was good. Do you want to reconnect with her? Nope. No, not at all. You don't? Nope, surely don't. Not at all. Honestly? I didn't even want to see her. I didn't even want to sit didn't next to her. I'm going to be real with you, because I heard all sides. And the thing is, is that I was trying to see if there's truly a villain in the story. And there's not a villain. Each of you have points that are completely valid. When I heard about this hotel, I immediately was like, oh my gosh, she's trying to manage so much with the finances, with people. I understand why she could feel overwhelmed and disrespected when it's like, I've done all of this and y'all are still not under giving me some understanding that like, damn, I didn't intentionally try to put us up somewhere bad. Not at all. I, I get it. I, I literally understood. I also understood your side. When you were talking about like, I'm sitting here and I, I, I feel like, why is my cousin abandoning me? Like, yeah. Like, I, I want you to be here with me and communicate with me, but I also understand why it triggered her. Then I also get you. You're going through a hard situation, and you want someone to understand what you're feeling and go through there and be with you. And you are like, well, if you can choose to go to a club, why not choose to be with me in my hardest moments? I get every single one of y'all sides. Listen, I felt like that But I don't think y'all are giving each other that same understanding and grace. And what happens is that one issue that would have, if you just would have sat down and talked, you could have had understanding about, exactly. then piles up on the next issue, on the next issue. Yeah. So one trip, then piles up on the next trip, then piles up on when we're supposed to go to this thing, and then piles up on this. Mm -hmm. And there's no understanding because you didn't understand the first situation. You didn't understand how everyone felt and their perspective from the first situation. And now you've gotten so raveled and deep into things that y'all not hearing each other at all. What I do know is that this relationship right here should not be falling out over $140. So I'm gonna ask you a question. Can you understand that she was not trying to intentionally put you in a situation that was gonna make you uncomfortable? It was not intentional. I can try to understand that. Can you understand that? Mm -hmm. Can you understand when she says, I need you to talk to me a little bit nicer, you've admitted that sometimes you get out of your mouth? Out the side yeah. of your neck. Can you understand that? I guess. <laughs> but listen, now, now you're understanding. You're understanding. The thing is, for you two, though, mm -hmm. There's a lot more grief there. I think that the, the issues that y'all have have gone deeper. And I do think, to a sense for right now, it's best that y'all are staying separate. I'm fine because, with that. Because the hurt that both of you feel is both valid. Mm -hmm. Your hurt is very valid, and so is your hurt. Listen, I wish y'all the best of luck, because there is a lot of love that was here before, there's still a lot of love that's gonna be here and be able to grow. Just give each other a little bit more understanding. Y'all gotta be able to do that. As women, just as family, y'all gotta give each other more understanding. And y'all, if you ever wanna get to the point of having a conversation to see how you can grow, you gotta remember the good so that you can talk about the bad. I like generally No, I could never did, be friends with anybody I, that tried I, to resort and fight me over $140. It's not even me about that, that. It, was the, it, but... it was the principle of the matter. Like, I feel like you tried me. I was kind of hurt because of the you fact that... You tried me. Like I said, said, it ain't going nowhere. I <laughs> appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Let's go, friends. Stay with us. We're going to be right back with more. Good luck, y'all.